Hey, party people. Good morning, Krusty Crew. We just made it to Bricks and Minifigs in Austin, Texas. It's kind of a rainy day. It's a little gloomy out. Definitely a bit overcast. But we're excited to head in because we were here a few days ago and we saw that they had a lot of really good buy-ins recently. Tons of new stuff on the shelves. A lot of good Star Wars stuff last time we were here. And the last time we were here was only about a week ago, so I hope they still have a lot of that stuff still on the shelves because I want to see it. But the reason we came by last week was because we had a bunch of stuff under the Lego City and we were like... This is just collecting dust. Like, I don't think we're ever gonna build this. Let's sell it. And Bricks and Minifigs has that buy, sell, trade program where you can bring in your old stuff and sell it or trade it in for store credit, which is what we did, or you can just buy stuff, <laughs> which is what we normally do. And so we came in, sold a bunch of our stuff, and we got 300 in store credit. We spent 130 and we still have 170 to spend. Money. So we're gonna take this in and see what we can find today. Ross will probably just leave with a bunch of clones. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Wait, Ross went over to the store real quick to look at something. What is he doing? Do y'all see that? I think he's emulating a wacky, waveable, inflating arm tube man right now. I love him so much. <laughs> And he's just out in the mist right now doing that. Guys, look, they're making a jazzer size place right across the street from Bricks and Minifigs. That's really exciting. That is cool. And this video is sponsored by Bricks and Minifigs here in Austin, Texas. So thank you so much to them. Bricks and Minifigs, Bricks and Bricks and Bricks and Minifigs. All right, we just got in and I'm really excited about this one here. This is the Monkey Kid HQ. And I remember during COVID, Ross and I were building this one, or I think this was... I think you mainly built it actually, yeah. but I liked it because of the pigsy. I love pigs and I was just really excited about that minifigure. It's just a really big set and at the time we didn't really know what Monkey Kid was, but I just remember Ross having the best time building this. In the past I realized like a lot of big like Lego themes, there's always like that one like big set in the first wave that becomes really popular later on. So I decided maybe I should get this one because I bet you it'll become like a pretty big deal later. Either way, I'm very happy with this set. I'd love this set. I really need to bring it back out and display it because it's just super cool and it's really fun. I love that there's like a little cat door there. Oh, <laughs> I never noticed that. That's so cute. Also, the cat has a mohawk. Wow. Yeah, it has a mohawk. But then right next to it is a white whale Lego set. This is the Ghostbusters HQ, right? Yep. Okay, so two HQs right next to each other. I was like, am I imagining <laughs> this? Um, this is the giant firehouse, and I do not have this set, but I would love to have it in my city one day. I've never actually seen Ghostbusters, but I've seen Casper and Wendy. <laughs> I think they're the same. But looking at this set, it's just so beautiful. It's definitely made to fit well into a Lego city, so maybe one day. But then over here is the original Ecto-1 from 2014. I've never really had a desire to get this set because I've never seen Ghostbusters, but it's a really well done little car and they're actually just totally stacked in this area but right over here we have the grand piano from what year was this 2020 wow time flies this is a lego idea set and it was really cool because like the piano actually kind of plays but i remember when i was getting into lego my mom was also kind of getting into lego and she was like i think i want this set like she wanted the grand piano so this was her first ever lego set pretty ambitious so <laughs> good for her and then finally on the end this one whenever i see it i'm really excited about it but i just don't have this one yet it's a fairground mixer the one where like the truck opens up I think and then all the things come out of it and spin around really fast It comes with a lot of fun little accessory kind of games. There's a ticket stand There's the dunk tank and then the super tall guy there. That's actually a really fun minifig But out of all the different amusement park rides that Legos made I'm pretty sure this is the only one that we still don't have just because it's not as I guess glamorous as the others Like the roller coasters and the carousel looks so cool This one's a lot more fairground than amusement park in my mind and then looking over this way Ross has gotten distracted by something over there so let's go check on him but first when we walked in i immediately noticed the new orient express and this is one of those sets that i really really want to get and it's so cool seeing it in person here i remember like the opening ad from lego for the set with that guy that really loves trains i thought that was the best ad lego ever did i was like wow this is so cool but as we're working on the city and starting to build out our train tracks this is definitely on my list i really really want to build this at some point it's beautiful this is uh for you old school speed champions fans back when they were only doing the six by i don't know there's something cute about the little six by speed champions and you have a little uh ford logo there that's really cool oh that's cool the mustang over here i don't know i can appreciate the argument that like people like the six buys better the eight buys are nice because you get way more detail in it but these are really cool too i don't know why and let me know if you guys see the same thing but every time i see this set i look at this helmet and i just think it's a hermit crab for some reason <laughs> 
And I know those are supposed to be like goggles and that's like a strap, but it just looks like a hermit crab and it's like the little claws, right? I don't see that. Well, actually, huh, maybe he's onto something. I don't know. But then looking down here, I've never seen this monkey before. Look how adorable this little dude is. He's holding a banana. His face has so much detail. Oh, it's a toucan. It's a little birdie. This is cute. It's from 2013, 15 bucks. It's actually adorable. So imagine this, the year 2004. Pirate fever all over the place. Everybody loves Pirates of the Caribbean. What does Lego do? Instead of having a going pirate theme, they have this Jack Stone four plus <laughs> pirates. And uh, I'm not ashamed to say that I bought this set because I was so into Pirates of the Caribbean and I really wanted a pirate ship from Lego and there wasn't any available at Toys R Us RIP. So I got this, but what's really cool about this set it's pretty simple in terms of like the piece count, but it actually floats. So it comes with these oh, wow. three giant boat pieces and uh, it would actually float. And what's even cooler is it's really hard to tell. They didn't advertise it much, but see that little hook right there? Yeah. They had like this third little piece you could buy where you could actually just put like a little motor and it would clip into there. Oh, so wow. you could have hours of bath time fun. You would put the little <laughs> motor in this and it would just go and uh, I was unfortunately never able to find like that little motor piece. So I like kind of designed my own. It didn't work out well, something short circuited because I didn't understand that uh, electricity doesn't go underwater. But anyways. That sounds like an adventure for you. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah, I was just really disappointed in Lego for not having like a really good pirate theme during Ooh. Pirates of the Caribbean like hype. But finally in 2011, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they started in 2010 making the, the Pirates of the Caribbean line, but by then, you know, it was way out. I still can't believe it took that long for them to get not only the license, but just to make more pirate sets. Um, super cool seeing the Black Pearl here. Like, such a beautiful set. I would love it, and the figures are amazing on it. <gasps> you have it? Oh, I've never seen one IRL. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the owner actually heard me talking about this piece, and uh, this is my first time ever seeing this in real life. I've only ever saw this like in magazines and stuff. Whoa. But the idea is that you could clip it to the bottom of that hull, and this would do that, <laughs> and this would go. But unfortunately, almost all of them are just kind of like shot because they've been underwater, they got a little corroded, the batteries have been in there too long. But what a cool little thing like this was. Could you imagine putting this in the bottom of your boat and just like... That'd be so cool. Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. man. I can't believe I'm actually holding it. <laughs> it's so rad. Something else kind of cool over here is seeing the same Ford Anglia, but through time. I think this is the most modern. And then, well, these two came out, I think, around the same time. But then this one is super old. You can tell by Ron just chilling with his, you know, yellow. old style yellow face printing. He looks thrilled. Actually, these two are 10 years apart. Oh, are they really? Yeah. Wow. 2010, 2020. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was the more recent train then. My bad. I was playing with this earlier. It's actually really hard to, uh, I'm trying to get it to the green. Oh, wow. So wait, so you can't touch the black? Yeah, it gets stuck in there. Oh, no. Oh. This would make me so upset. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> you were close, Ron. Yeah, yeah, I did great. This right here, 2009, this was such a cool theme, the uh, the Space Police. I think this is Space Police 3, but they just went all out. They had like the coolest looking bad guys. Uh, this dude had like four arms, which was cool. I like this guy's like face. Oh, yeah. And I really like the uniforms of the Space Police officers, too. I like his face printing. That's awesome. Yeah, it was just a really creative theme. Here's a Lego set of Ross and his band in college. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a bass guitarist there, but that would have been me. I realized I actually have two different versions of the UCS uh, Batmobiles. So they have the 1989 version here with the, uh, that, was that Jack Nicholson Joker, I think. Uh, this one is really cool, but then they actually have the 2014 Tumblr with the uh, Heath Ledger Joker. <laughs> that scary. one was so scary. Yeah. What that a came great, out. like, series that was. When did this movie come out? I feel like I was in elementary school or something, and I was terrified. <laughs> I did not like that movie. <laughs> so this is pretty sick. They actually have the uh, 20th anniversary slave one. This is probably my favorite slave one like play set. Um, pretty much my second favorite after the UCS set because I think this is a really good one. Plus it comes with Leia with her classic buns. The oh, <laughs> there she is. And it's hard to believe that this is uh, five years ago almost. And yeah, it's been five years and now we're going to wow. be doing the 25th 
anniversary of Star Wars, like a Star Wars series. Crazy. Isn't that nuts? Oh, this is fun. So they have the Disney gift I purchased here for a pretty fair price on this. This was highly sought after. I remember like doing everything I could to try to snag one of these. And it was a really interesting gift with purchase because on the back of this, you could put Polaroid. So, you know, it doesn't come with random family members' pictures in this set. You know, like you add your own and then the castle. But then there was a light up brick where if you press down, I think on top of here, it would light up. But there was a clear piece with the printing on it of Steamboat Willie. And when you press down, it like shown through like a projector. It was the coolest thing. And then Walt's office, I believe that was. They actually have a pretty decent number of different gift with purchases right now. It's a Black Tron Cruiser, as well as the large family homestead. And then this is kind of cool. They have the older Sanctum Sanctorum. And I remember buying this a while ago, but I really like the new one too. It's in our city. So check this out. They have the awesome Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage, which is just a beautiful set. It's super cool to see it in person. But uh, this one, I wanted to talk about this one, so the Transformer set. So I think this is retired now, but what's interesting is that Lego, I think I, from what I'm hearing, is going to make like Peppa Pig sets or yeah. something. Yeah, they're doing like um, Duplo Peppa Pig Which now. Hasbro also owns part of that license. So it's like kind of cool to see Lego working with Hasbro a little bit more. I'm That's interested exciting. to see if like more comes from that. Yeah, from what I've seen so far, it looks really cute. Am I, am I Gideon? I don't know how to do. You're doing great. Anyways. I'm really hyped right now because they have some awesome like new Star Wars sets here. Cannot go wrong with the classic. This is the 2013 Republic gunship. Awesome set, beautiful figures. But then moving on over here, we have the Clone Wars turbo tank from 2016. This one just became relevant again because of the new Bad Batch trailer just dropped yesterday and it featured a turbo tank in it. So I'm really excited. I bet you this is gonna be a pretty popping uh, set here soon. Wondering if I should snag it before someone else does. And then we have one of the biggest disappointments to me ever. The the Captain Rex's one. at -T -E. I only say it's a disappointment and I still stand by it. The fact that they didn't include the helmets for the old clone troopers is atrocious. Then the Battle of Endor. Now I've never actually got this set. I was really close to buying it one time I saw it here. Uh, but fortunately, a long time ago, actually from this Bricks of Minifigs, I was able to find just the ATST. So they had that built, but they didn't have the rest of the set. And to me, this is my favorite ATST. I think it's the most in scale one that they've ever really made. And uh, I just like kind of how simple it is. So right here is my favorite one. So I never ended up buying like that Hawk one that came out a few years ago. And uh, this is just an awesome set. I would love to have it, honestly. I'm looking at this too. Is that Ewok flying? Like, does it have a flying machine on it? Yeah, yeah. He flies and he drops rocks on stormtroopers' heads. And then over here, they have the Adidas shoe set. And I always loved this. I, you know, I used to wear these shoes all the time. So it was really cool. I wore them to buy this set. <laughs> oh, they have a little gift of purchase with it too. So the only complaint on this little one is that on the torso it's a sticker like i really wish that that adidas thing was printed that would have been so cool wait it's a sticker oh yeah, yeah you're a right sticker. yeah but i just loved the packaging on this that was so creative i still have the box i actually have my adidas shoe displayed on the box but then ross found something he was excited about well i don't know how to feel about this so overwatch lego overwatch you guys remember overwatch used to be like the most popular game ever i am sad to report that i don't play overwatch anymore i have moved on to uh brighter horizons which is Fortnite, so I don't know if that's a step up or a step down. But we, we never got, uh, you know, Lego Fortnite, but here we go with the Overwatch sets. And now I am really, really bummed that they canceled that Overwatch, like that Titan mech, and there were supposed to be a whole bunch more sets. And we just never really got any closure. That's really what it feels like, you know? It feels like, feels like you went on a date with a girl and you were supposed to have a second date and it just nothing happened, you know? And that's how... Lego Overwatch feels in my heart. Wait, I swear I've seen these racers before. Do you remember these, Ross? What <laughs> yeah, are these? Yeah, so these are these really weird things. So this is early 2000s. It screams early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. Um, one time we came in here and they actually had all of the little figures that you can buy. Like they had every single one of them. But the idea is that there were these little racers and you would like slam the back of them. And uh, in the front there, that white part was like a big button and it would cause the uh, player to eject out the back. And yeah, there you go. You collect all of these. Wow. That's a lot. I want to say this was like even before Bionicle. That's how old this is. 2001. Uh, 2001. So yeah, same year as Bionicle. I was talking about this earlier, but they actually have a lot of six wide speed champions here. That's really cool. 
like to see all these old ones. I love this like little Ford Mustang. That's <laughs> so cute. That's cool. So I saw this when we walked in and I was really excited because I've seen some of my friends have this and I was like, man, I don't even know where they got it. But I always had my eye on it because it looks kind of fancy and fun. You could fit like soda in here, <laughs> some snacks. You can bring this to conventions. And so I definitely want to buy this today. And Ross was like, you need it, obviously. I think you need it more for me. Like, you want a man bag? Yeah, look at that. You look pretty cool. Hi, Joe Barrel. <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Emily says if I do a good job over the Star Wars section, that she's going to buy me chicken wings after this. It's so true. let's go. All right. All right. So taking a look at this, some of my highlights. I always got to look at the Clone Boys. They got a lot of the 501st and Ahsoka's Troopers, but not as much as the other ones. It's crazy. We were just here a few days ago and they had all these other clones. Who's buying all of them? <laughs> Ross is upset. <laughs> but yeah, I just love to see it. I actually was really cool here. I was playing with my clones last night. And uh, they actually have three of the original phase one clone troopers here oh, uh, wow, where yeah. like the holes are cut out on their eyes. And I kind of want more of them. I only have one of them just for the sake of like having them, but I don't know. It's just something like, you know, a throwback, especially to like the Jedi Bob days. You know what's interesting is just like how valuable the Rancor is. Weirdly enough, we actually have two Rancors um, and I would gladly sell one of them. But the issue is, is I'm missing three of the four fingers. So that little finger there is worth like $25, $30 on its own. That's insane. Because it only came with this guy. So I'm sure if I sold that Rancor, I probably would not be <laughs> pocketing <laughs> much off of it. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy how expensive the little accessories on these figures can be. But then something I wanted to point out over here is like probably two or three years ago now, Ross was like, wow, that's Bikini Luke. And every time I see this minifigure, that's all I can think about. Meanwhile, <laughs> Ross is doing this. Wait for it. Wait what? for it. Are you going to shoot it? Wait for it. Wait for it. We're locking our S foils into attack position. Wait for it. We're almost there. We're almost there. I feel like something's about to shoot out. Yeah. No, 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 nothing. This is just such an awesome oh, okay. set. <laughs> this is actually the second time Legos made the Arc 170 fighter, and it's such a disappointment that we haven't got it since when was this? 2009. Come on, wow. Lego. Come on, Lego. This thing is awesome, man. It's the predecessor to the X Wing. And it just had some cool airtime at the beginning of Revenge of the Sith. This one comes with some cool figures too. They have the two different pilots. That's cool. As well as Kit Fistu. Okay, I like this a lot. So they actually kind of relocated their rare figures into this case here just to make it a little bit easier to swap in and out. Look at that little Max Rebo. <laughs> He's like a little elephant. Love it. I love that Django fit there too. That's really interesting how uh, how valuable those clone troopers, the animated uh, 212 troopers have gotten. Oh man, it's so cool seeing all of these in here. I like that they kind of consolidated all to one spot. I remember these uh, Super Commandos over here. I, I don't know, it must have been like five years ago. I was like, I'm gonna get a lot of these because I feel like they're gonna go up in value. And then sure enough, when the Lost Clone Wars arc started going out, yeah, they went up in value a lot. So I'm really glad that I picked those up. <laughs> Good job, Ross. This is really cool. So this is actually the second time of three times that LEGO has made a PlayScale MTT. This one's really large and it's really interesting to hear like people's thoughts on this one. So I didn't have the newer one, but I did have this one. This one was awesome. Oh wait, this is the one that came with like 50 little battle droids, right? Yeah, right? it came with a lot. And then it had this cool little feature here oh. where you just like... That's cool. You are no match for droid dika. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, anyways, love that set. I have it, I need to rebuild it, but I'm just out of space. They have the Jedi Starfighter with Hyper Ring with both Boba and Jango. Oh man, it's so cool. I really regret not getting that one. I remember seeing that one on like Prime Day for like 30% off and I didn't get it like an idiot. One of my favorite ships from the new Disney era is the U-Wing. I really would like to see like a new version of this set, but honestly this set still holds up and it's still a pretty good deal I think now. So I would definitely pick this up if I didn't already have this one. And then down here, speaking of uh, U-Wing, now we're gonna go, this is the old G Y-Wing and TIE Fighter. So it's actually the TIE Wait, Fighter. these two come with it? Yeah, so this was oh, cool. one set back then. You could get both of them. What was really weird was that this set came out in like 1999 or 2000. And then like in 2004, they re-released it. The main difference between the 2001 version of this and the 2004 version is just the grays are updated to the bluish grays instead of the older grays. Oh, nice. um, but what's really interesting, they actually have a Y-Wing over here. 
just to compare, so this is my favorite play scale Y wing. This is the Rogue One one, and you can compare it there to the old one. And, oh wow! I so mean, it's more detail. It's, it just pales in comparison. Like, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, they actually have a lot of really good stuff over in the Friends and Disney area, and the the Elves area. They do have an Elves dragon. I love the different Elves dragons. They are so cool. I think I have all of them, or I have most of them now. The big white one with blue wings is definitely my favorite, but this one's so pretty too. Bring back dragons. I want more dragons. And then this little hot dog stand is always a fun one to see. I just think that is so cute. I think Lego City or maybe Lego Friends came out with one recently. It's a four plus though, so it's a lot less detailed than this one. But then up here, Cinderella's Carriage. Oh my goodness. I remember being so excited when this came out. I think it was like, what, January 1st, 2021. I definitely bought this on release day. And I love it because the carriage build is amazing, but people slept on it because of the mini dolls. Yeah, it was an awesome set. I was actually jealous of her building it. But then over here, I am so happy that this is not on my white whale list of Lego sets because, gee, it's just gone up in value so much. I think it was only on the shelves for eight months or so, and that's why the price is so high. And it's just really cool. It's a beautiful set. But there's just so many different details in here. The minifigs, I remember the minifigs being incredible. And this was a Lego Movie 2 set, is that right? Yep, yeah. And it was only on store shelves for like seven or eight months or something, too. Yeah. I remember going to see the Lego Movie 2, and that was before I was even really like a Lego fan. I was just kind of there. <laughs> you were just dating me. <laughs> yeah, I was just dating this guy. Like, that was it. <laughs> so he took me to see the Lego Movie. I was like, whatever. But it was fun. I was listening to the soundtrack for months, and honestly, <laughs> I still do. Tiffany Haddish nailed it Stole as Queen it. Whatever Wanabi. You know, this is like a part of the store we always overlook and I don't know why we do because there's like a lot of cool stuff here so this is normally it's kind of like a mix of like third-party war sets but then also like a lot of the vintage Lego stuff and right here I love this set right here it's just it's just nice I would never dream of opening something like this yeah just, just display it. have that right there on your shelf at work just a casual flex break out the <laughs> flex tape I love it just look at all these like old school stuff ah, it's just so cool I love the legs where it's a like a peg leg and a normal <laughs> I just think that's so neat and I think this is actually the figure that they're selling right now like the new buildable figure at Lego house we have one in our collection right now. I'm so happy to have it. So I should probably build that at some point. I want to have it on display. So these are the sealed Star Wars sets they have. I was talking earlier about this ATST. Not a big fan of how large these ATSTs are. Also, why don't their ankles move? What's up with that? Anyways. Wait, whose ankles? The ATSTs. Oh, I thought you they meant just, the people. No, they just don't move. They just like sit there and they mm -hmm. like they just do this. They just do like deadlifts all day. <laughs> this one is really cool too. So this is a certified used set. Awesome. Comes with both a zombie Geonosian, normal Geonosian, and Commander Gree and Barris Offie. I would really like this set. Um, I'm glad I actually do have this one. But... Wait, Barris Offie is the one who turned in Ahsoka, right? No spoilers, but yes. <laughs> it's been, what, 20 years? <laughs> totally forgot to mention this when we're talking about ATSTs. So this is the, the ATST rated. I remember, like, everybody going on there, like, it was GameStop or something. And they were just <laughs> buying these things up because they thought they were going to be worth so much. I don't think that happened. <laughs> Whenever I see this set, I think it's, like, a holiday set that I forgot about or something. Because <laughs> the legs just look like candy canes. Oh, Every time I see it, I'm like, did. oh, it's a holiday set. But then I'm like, no, it's candy just cane something else. So something we always like forget to show off is that at Bricks and Minifigs, if you need like a cape or something, they actually have a nice little binder here where you can look through and try to find like a different cape to go with your figures. Oh, these are so pretty. So yeah, it's like super nice having this. Uh, I peruse through here every now and then because I'm always looking for skirts for my little monitos. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, I think the black ones go pretty fast. <laughs> it was kind of funny. We came here with friends ones and then just like went over to the binders. They found them and they were going through it. And I was like, what are you looking at? What is that? Because I had never seen them before. I never went through them. So now we try to look a few times a year at least or whenever Ross needs something. Skirts for his Oh, this is neat. So here's a bunch of their CMF series minifigures, and they do have a lot from the newest Wave Series 25. So that's pretty exciting. They don't have any goats here, unfortunately. The goats are so cool. But if you are looking for some and you don't want to deal with boxes, this is a good place to find them. So I just saw this down here, and I was like, what is this? I've never seen this before. So let me know in the comments if this is something that you're familiar with. But it's a little reader's gift set. 
It has a nice box and the box is really quality. It's not like the normal kind of cardboard. It's something I would probably hold on to. It comes with a little Harry minifigure with, I think a bookmark. I guess he's your bookmark. That's so cute. There's a pen that is a Lego broom, some sticky notes to add, you know, different notes into the books you're reading, all your Harry Potter books. They're selling it for $30. I feel like that's really reasonable. I just don't need this in my life, but I think that's so fun. So if you're a Harry Potter fan in Austin, come grab one of these. That's really cool. And then this Lego has tribute. I'm really tempted to buy this today, but I might actually hold off stay tuned and then over here y'all so right. I don't think this was here last time we were here I am pretty sure it wasn't but this is a giant like brick built wall of all of the different bricks and mini things locations and on the end here you can see a 100 because there are now 100 stores or I guess the grand opening for the 100th is on February 3rd so that's just really exciting seeing how many locations they have around the country and in Canada Ontario right there and then on the top we obviously have Austin Texas you know obvious reasons all right just left bricks and mini figs and we had a really good time we were there for like two hours I think we just always start chatting with the people there. Time slips away. It's always such a fun time. But now, y'all, we have a really crazy car haul for you. Wild one. Car, car haul, haul. Car haul. Car haul. Car haul. All right, check this out. The bag. <laughs> I got the bag. It's I am really so cute. excited. I don't know. There's something about all the patches on it that just make me really happy. <laughs> like, Is it like all the old Lego logos? I think so. Oh, wow. Isn't that neat? That's super cool. That's so fun. So I had to have this. I don't know where I'll wear this. I'll probably use it. Yeah, it'll be Ross's man bag. <laughs> Pattern's really cute. And you know what they say, if Emily's happy, I'm probably hungry. We should go eat. <laughs> Ross really wants some chicken wings. 15 wing gang. But anyways, y'all, we always have such a good time at Bricks and Minifigs. We're here at least once a month, normally more. Like five times a month. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but today especially, they had so many good white whales. Like the Ghostbusters HQ was incredible. They had the giant apocalypse bird That's set. That's awesome. And I haven't seen that in a few years now, I think. It's been a while. So make sure to check out Bricks and Minifigs here in Austin, Texas. Thank you so much to Bricks and Minifigs here for sponsoring this video. Thank you to everybody for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.